The healing position to us is the sweet spot we work out with the dog that keeps them at our side and in a position to receive all our commands without restricting our movement. Focus 2 is another thing I work out with the dog so they can still enjoy looking around, sniffing the ground and yet give me all the focus I need in an instant. In the heel position, the dog doesn't have to be looking at you to give you his focus. Welcome to our channel. We are going to get right to work and hopefully you are beginning from the controlled starting point we began to establish teaching the sit stay. If you missed it, there will be a link below the description. If you are not beginning from here or had difficulty with the sit stay but your dog sits on command, just start from the sit. All the turns and maneuvers for working the heel are the same. Having a controlled starting point for healing that the dog can identify with gives him confidence and an opportunity to bring wins as he works through the healing process. Begin like you would the sit stay except from the second uncommanded sit we are going to step to the side of the dog, learning to hold in place and rewarding when we are. We want the dog to succeed so we're going to lure and reward everything on our first attempt. We want to control forward movement without waiting for the dog to forage ahead and are going to try by using left hand turns right from the start so we can begin to introduce our position for control as quick as possible. We are not teaching a look up at me focused heel so we do not lure like this. Instead, we want to draw the dog's attention to our lower body and lure like this. From this position, give the heel command and lure the dog forward and make a left hand turn. Reward the dog as you make the left hand turn. We want to set the dog up for success so we keep the first leg of healing short and return to our starting zone for a sit. Each time you return to the starting zone, reward for the sit and practice a short sit stay adding a step back and forth before giving the come command. And then you are ready to continue on with the healing exercise. Near the end of the video we will discuss how to continue to build this zone towards a free space. If you are not using the starting zone just ask for a sit after a short distance. Now training is messy at first and if the dog has gotten too far ahead for any kind of effective left hand turn, we use the right about turn and it's done with a slight step to the right to help guide the dog back to the heel side. The right about turn changes the dog's direction, but again, the dog goes to a quick pace to get back into position. And if he blows by you again, you get this back and forth thing going on. We want our position and our bodies for control, not the end of our leash. So after the right about, lead or lure the dog and make an immediate left hand turn when the dog just returns to your side. Rinse and repeat every time your dog gets too far ahead for a left turn. We also practice a right turn in the same way and quickly follow with a left turn or a sit. As the dog becomes more compliant to lead pressure, we transition it to correction pressure, which is not much more than lead pressure, just delivered quicker with more of a pop for a quick movement of guidance and it's given in the direction you would use to hold or lead the dog into position. This is a level of control that I want in a very low distraction environment. Repetition does all the heavy lifting, not corrections. The sweet spot for the heel position for us is largely determined by the left turn. This holds the dog back so that when we make a right hand turn they are in a position to react without being instantly put out of position. The left turn is also what helps teach the dog to avoid contact when healing and keeping the dog from leaning in on the sit. This is a typical pattern I would work with the dog to establish control and find the sweet spot. I continue to work on the sit command and if I work the sit command with duration, I keep it very brief so I don't lose the dog's attention.
For healing with two dogs, once I have taught both dogs separately to heal on the left, I choose the strongest dog at healing to work on my right side. Again, this is done separately. All the techniques for working the heel are just reversed and the dogs learn the second side much quicker. When the dog is solid in the right side, I begin working them together. Ordinarily, I would teach only one dog to heal on the right side, but since I am working towards healing two dogs together, from two front-facing positions and two rear-facing positions, both dogs need to know all positions. This is Man of War's first time working his right side skills with Ripley present. Remember to consider when healing two dogs is how you want to work your commands. I use the word dogs before commands I want performed by both dogs and individual names before commands when I don't. I also use a different word for heal that applies to both dogs and is the command for heal in the right side position when taught. Now for those establishing the free space, begin every training session here and work through the sit stay in the exact same way. Don't work the dog in this zone in any other way. Later on we'll use it to work the front position further and for bringing the dog to heel. Thanks for watching and mark your turf by clicking the subscribe button.